afternoon welcome to the contract review february 2024 and where did january go it was a blur but we're back again thanks for showing up as we start madam clerk would you please call the roll senator albritton senator beasley here. senator butler here senator elliott wouldn't miss it representative england Representative Garrett. Senator Orr. Representative Pringle. Here. Representative Reynolds. Senator Roberts. Here. Representative Witt. Okay, we have a quorum. Uh, any comments from members before we start? Okay, we'll start page one of the agenda. Ag and Industries. Remember, please say your name when you come up and kick us off clearly. Good afternoon. My name is Gunner Guy. Uh, I'm here on behalf of the Alabama Department of Agriculture and Industries. We have uh, one contract here before the board, the committee, excuse me, uh, for architectural services for some. Uh, design services that we need for some additions to our building. Any questions? Be happy to entertain any questions. Seeing none, thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Have a great day. Page two, top chiropractic examiner's board. That's good. I'm so sorry. Good afternoon. I'm Dr. Brian Wells. I'm uh, the president okay. of the board of examiners. Uh, we're here. Uh, we have a contract. Uh, for an architect on a, a building we're remodeling. I'm sorry, I, we'll stay right here and we'll go back and pick up bottom of page two, my bad. Okay. All right, start over your name, please, sir. Uh, I'm Brian Wells. Okay, Brian. Any questions? Just one, if I can, Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. So this is for architectural services for a building that the board owns? Yes, sir. And you're remodeling it? Yes, we are. Okay. How many staff members, and this, I assume the staff works there on a daily basis? Yes. How we many have, staff members? We have uh, three uh, with a part-time. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions? Thank you. All right, go back to page one, auctioneer board. Apologize, that was my mistake. That's okay. I, I sat very quickly when it wasn't my turn. Good morning, afternoon, um, Chairman Roberts, members of the committee. This is for the State Board of Auctioneers. Uh, I sent over some information yesterday about uh, the RFP being published on September the 14th. The contract awarded on 117. Uh, there's a 2.1% decrease in this contract this time, uh, as well as on January the 23rd, the Sunset Committee uh, met at their business meeting and gave this board a full four-year uh, term of a continuance. So there's some other in, uh, information there. I apologize for a board representative not being here. Uh, they were either out of state or conducting an auction today. So, Well, thanks uh, for sending the details. That was helpful. I've got a legal question to follow up, but this... It, it wasn't a good submission, as you know, and I'm stressing this to everybody in the room. Get the correct submission, please, when you shoot it in. It had to go back and forth with our staff, so we just ask that we get that done. It was corrected, so very good. I have a legal question. I'm trying to understand, and I've got legal assistance, and I know they coordinate with the Office AG, but what are the legal, help me understand, or if you would explain what they're doing. Please. So we have a legal assistant that is assigned to the complaint. So they, uh, it's just, the, no legal attorneys or anything in my office. It is just where we uh, receive the complaints. The legal assistant assigns the complaint, uh, complaint number, and distributes it to the investigative committee uh, for that board. So they only coordinate complaints and hearings and stuff and between the attorneys that represent each of the boards. This one happens to be represented by the Office of the Attorney General. Okay. Yeah, that's. I was trying to understand that. Yes, sir. Okay. There's no outside legal uh, contract for this board. All right. It's all housed at the Attorney General's office. Any other questions? Yes, sir. 
Did, did I hear you say that this was published on January 14th and the contract was awarded on January 17th? The contract was published, uh, the RFP was published September the 14th. September. And awarded on January the 17th. Okay, thank Yes, you. sir, I apologize. If I mix those up, I apologize. <laughs> All right, any others? Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. Mr. Warren, um, I, I appreciate the information you've put in the justification, but I have a question about it. Yes, sir. So you indicate that the operating budget for the auctioneer's board is $275,000, roundabout. Correct, yes, sir. And that there are 664 licensed auctioneers. Mm -hmm. That is $414 per auctioneer. If my math is correct. What is your license fee? The license fee is $150 per year. Okay, where is the additional revenue coming from if there are only 664 licensed auctioneers? We have auctioneers, we have companies that pay fees, um, and then we, and we have a very small revenue, and it's not revenue, but we have very small fines for this board. Um, but the, the revenue out of exam fees, uh, application fees, plus the applica uh, license fees uh, generates the revenue for this board. Yes, sir. That's a pretty significant amount that's coming from something other than license fees. Wouldn't you agree? I would, but it's all, all our revenue is basically license and application fees only. How much of that is fines? I believe last year was only 2500 Like I said, we have a very low um, uh, fine, and lack of a better word, revenue for this board. When we have a small complaint process, uh, numbers of complaints that receive, you can see some are one, some are eight, some are nine, so it's, it's different, but we don't always uh, have a fine that constitutes from uh, action uh, and complaints that are filed with the board. I'd submit to you that $414 per licensee is a fairly high number. There's no more questions, Mr. Chairman. Any others? Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, bottom of page two, conservation. Good afternoon, Chairman Roberts, members of the committee. I'm Juliana Dean from the, for the Department of Conservation. We have three contracts before you today. The first one is an amendment for civil engineering testing environmental services for projects um, across the state and in particular for the Columbiana Shooting Range in Shelby County. Can you elaborate at all on what this is? What this will be the biggest shooting range that DCNR oversees. We're very excited about it. Mm -hmm. um, the build out should be complete in about five years. We're starting with putting new bathrooms in and an archery range and it will evolve into a full shooting range. It's a big deal. Yes, it is. Yes, sir. We'd love to have you all there when the ribbon, ribbon cutting occurs. Okay. Any questions? Thank you. Welcome. The second one is also an amendment for wastewater treatment facilities at various state parks, and in particular, the wastewater and drinking water project at Cheehaw State Park. Okay. Um, I'd love to, I want to delve in. Is there any ADEM cooperation with what we do at some point, an offline conversation on yes, that? Yes, sir. All right. Bottom page three. Yes, sir. And the last one is a contract with Coastal Alabama Partnership for research, development, and promotion of ecotourism. I need that to find. Uh, yes, you and I it, both lived in another country at one point did. in our lives, and ecotourism there is a big deal. Uh, tell me what we're what we're doing here is a conservation group. It's geared towards natural resources, sustainable travel, increasing tourism dollars, um, promoting local communities. So it's a very worthwhile initiative. Okay. All right, and are there any other vendors who can do this work? Well, we selected Coastal Alabama as a sole source because they have received a federal grant, and so we are building upon that and exponentializing the impact of the work. Okay. Any other questions? Just a, a few, if I may, Mr. Chairman. Yes. So they're developing a program, is that it? I'm just confused as to what they're doing. They have already developed a program. It's a regional program, and the goal of this um, work is to expand that to other regions of the state, in particular those that are underserved, like the Black Belts. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Any other questions? Thank you, ma'am. Thank you.
Yes, ma'am. Hi, I'm Mandy Spears with the Department of Corrections. Today we have one contract. It is with Employee Assistance Services. This is a two-year, not to exceed $250,000 contract. This was procured through the RFP process this fall. Uh, employee Assistance Program or Services provides comprehensive psychological services, to, including initial screening of applicants as well as fitness for duty and return to duty for current employees. Okay, thank you for getting us uh, the information I asked for earlier today. Appreciate yes, that. Any other questions? Thank you very much. Education, bottom page four. Tina Hammonds here on behalf of the Department of Education. Good afternoon, Chairman and um, members. Uh, we have one contract today that is with Frank Buck Consulting Incorporated. It is all federal funds and it is a wind down contract. Um, this entity was awarded an RFP previously. There has been a new RFP process and there is a new entity that will be doing this work going forward. And so this is, we were unfortunately unable to actually get everyone swapped over as far as all school districts because of the data that's involved. Mm -hmm. So this is a wind down to get us moved into the new group. Tina, thank you. Yeah, I wanted to hear the story. This is a five-year, basically, this contract's been going It was on a five-year five RFP, and yep. we were unable to complete all of the data transfer. And so right. he is going to work with us for us to transfer to the new awardee. Great job. Thank you. Any questions? Thank you. Environmental management, top of page five. <laughs> Good afternoon, Mr. Chairman, afternoon. member of the committee. I'm Russell Kelly with the Department of Environmental Management. And uh, we have 13 contracts before you today. But just as a side note, they're all for the same general purpose. Uh, seven of these are simply time extensions, and six of them we do add funding to those. Uh, the purpose of these contracts are to remediate and clean up uh, tank sites that have had a release where in these cases the owner is incapacitated or has passed away but they're tank trust fund eligible. So the department has the statutory and regulatory authority to be able to appoint or pick the consultants on behalf of the site. And the li this list of 13 consultants is the list that we pick from. And uh, the reason for extending some of the, uh, some of the monies, they have, uh, they have uh, spent down their balance and the others still have plenty of money in the encumbered amount that they had before. So we started out originally with 400,000 for each one of them and we increased six of them. Okay, so I'm gonna ask a couple questions yes, as we go through. Yes, this was originally RFP in 2021, awarded November of 21. Yes, sir. How much longer do you anticipate this continuing? <laughs> These sites will come up as an example. We had about 50 at that point in time. We're still working on 40 of them. 11 of them have been NFA'd or no further action, or 10 of them, I'm sorry. And we have NFA no, the, no further action required. Okay. They, they've been completed. And we have so another That means group. tanks removed or filled, I would guess? Yes, sir. The site has been remediated and nothing else needs to, to be done. Okay. We're discovering these all the time. Now, this is very similar to the ongoing trust fund activities where the owners are living. If, if they were living, they would pick from a, another list that we have, which many, all of these are on, because uh, it's an insurance policy is what it is. The only purpose of this- State insurance? Well, it's or, like an insurance policy. Okay. The, the, uh, the underground storage tank trust fund, they pay a, penny at the bulk terminal, it goes into a trust fund. They've got to maintain their uh, their site. They must be in compliance, do all of their testing, et cetera, to be tank trust fund eligible. So if they have a release, they use it as an insurance policy. It is a volunteer, but if they don't participate, they've got to have their own insurance. Most all of them do participate. If they're in good standing, the owner is alive, and they have a release, they pick these vendors themselves. In these cases, there's no responsible party to do it, and, and they, they pop up. So the goal here is to probably maintain this, but again, the funds are only used 
if we have a site to be cleaned up. So uh, we can we can re RFP it at the necessary time, but the only thing that we do is make sure they're qualified and we put everyone on the list. I got you. Yeah. That would that was my next question. I talked with the CPO this morning about this and mm -hmm. some other issues that yes, we'll sir. talk about in a minute. But this was a prime example here of how do we get the word out to Alabama companies that they can bid, and these are Alabama companies there, so I get that, but how has this word gotten out about this testing in mind? Uh, I imagine in that one we, we noticed it. Uh we can hit the consultant companies up, and, and, and now I, I think uh, it'll, be, it'll be posted on the web. These folks kind of know where to go, mm -hmm. but I, uh, for, the, uh, for the other list, anyone that wants to get on the other list, for the general, they can submit to us, and we'll take their qualifications, and if they're qualified, we'll put them on there on the generic one. On this one, because we pick, we had to have an RFP. We couldn't just select. If we do it again, anyone who submits and is qualified, we'll put them on the list and give okay. them work. That's where I was trying to yes, go. Yes, Okay, great. So when would you anticipate re -RP? And This is an annual ongoing Two, two years. I, these contracts, I think, are for two more years. We, we could do it again then. But at the end of two years, my question is, yes. we still have to monitoring the abandoned tanks, if you will? Yes, in some cases. It depends on what the remediation is. Some of them will be finished. Some of them will be in the middle. So this will probably be an ongoing because anytime you cut the contract off, you may have some sites that are in the middle of remediation. You may have others that we hadn't identified yet. I got you. But, but we can certainly have a new RFP and allow others to get in on this, this portion of it. I would think that makes a lot of sense, yes, okay. in my opinion. We can do right, that. Any questions on page five? No, sir, they're the same thing. They're, they're they, all the same thing. They are. Through yes, the sir. page 10, I've got another question. Yes, sir. I don't have any questions. We'll try to be nice to Mr. Kelly. <laughs> yeah, always <laughs> nice to it. Mr. Kelly. <laughs> uh, the question I had is at the top of page 10, um, the LLC membership states sole members Atlas Technical Consultants LLC. We just need the who's behind that as a list. Part of what we're charged with is transparency and to have an LLC then backed up by another LLC. We need a list of the members of that board. I get this is a sole person LLC, but whoever's running this, we need that list of names and we'll hold this. Okay. So that is uh, Atlas Technical Consultants. We'll hold that and if you'll get that list, as soon as we get it, yes. we'll release it. I'll do that. Bottom of page 10, any questions? I'm good. And then let's go, uh, that's it, any questions? Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, thank you, members. Bottom page 11. Good afternoon, Taylor Nichols with Department of Finance. Um, we have two contracts. The first one is uh, with CGI. We're currently implementing a new HR and payroll system for state agencies. As you can imagine, that's a pretty complex undertaking, so we've had a couple of uh, additional features that we needed added, so that increased the scope of the contract. This is an amendment to the existing project. Got it. <clears throat> All right, and the other one is a PFM Asset Management. Um, this is, these are services to ensure that Alabama's bond debt is in compliance with IRS requirements. We have to do that periodically. Okay. A, that was my question. All right. Any other questions? I've got your, I've got one on the first one. <laughs> What I'm trying to get to, this was RFP'd in 18, so we, we went with a vendor. And I get you're still doing things with this vendor, so is there an RFP in our future here, or? 
possibly and, and it now really, this is a very complicated sticky correct it, it's it really depends on where we are at the point at later on this year um, we are going to have some very important milestones coming up okay um, including a potential go live with the very first phase of users in um, in April or May um, so depending on how that goes we may have to re RFP um, or we may not it, it really depends on on how it goes in the next couple months here okay and we understand this is critically important to the workings of state government. Correct, yes, sir. Any other questions? Thank you, sir. Thank you. And appreciate the conversation today on some of the bigger pictures that we continue to talk about. Yes, sir, CPO said she had a good conversation. Thank you, sir. Bottom page 12, geological. Mr. Chairman, members of the committee, I'm Bennett Bearden with the Geological Survey of Alabama. We got before you today one contract amendment for a no cost extension and also to add Article 21 to comply with Act Number 2023-409 to the original contract. This is a contract you approved back in May of um, 2023, all federal funds, no additional funds going out. This is for the replenishment of the beaches along the national treasure that we have down south, our Gulf Coast. That's what our guess was. Uh Vibracor, I thought was uh, fast Vibracor acquisition. Uh, I spent some time looking up all the different ways that's done. That's fascinating to see. It really uh, is. That type of work. But yeah, we assumed it was for the beaches. All right, any questions on that? I got one. I got Okay. Well, let me ask you, have you met with Bobby Tom Crow? I uh, have not. I've uh, talked to you about this last yeah. time, um, and we sent you a letter from Steve Jones in our coastal division. Yeah. I have with me today, fortunately, one of the top geologists in the southeastern United States, the director of science for our survey, yeah. Mr. Greg Guthrie. Uh, I would tender him to you, Mr. Thank Speaker you. Pro Tem. Uh, well, he's a former Pro Tem, so <laughs> if y'all can, just say yeah, Chris Pringle. Thank you. Yes, sir. That's it. Any questions? Thank, Thank you, you Mr. Chairman. Top page 13, Historical Commission. Good afternoon. I'm Eleanor Cunningham with the Historical Commission. Um, we have two contracts for architectural services before y'all today. They are both, um, sorry, the first one is a no-cost time extension uh, that is with CC and Litchfield for a project at Fort Toulouse. The second is um, a time extension and a slight increase to the contract that is with Matheny Goldman for a project at Confederate Memorial Park. All right, I have questions about both. These RP 2021 and then Latin 2022, when will these be RP next? Um, these are for discrete projects, so when the construction project is complete, they will not be RFP'd again for this. Okay. Any other questions? Thank you. Thank you. Top page 12, labor. No. We're not here today. Okay. All right. Mental health. Okay. Brian Penn, mental health. We have one contract. It's with uh, Laura, Laura Stoppabine. It's posted to the database, we did 273 direct solicitations. We had one response. The contractor will review psychological records submitted to the Office of Autism Services to confirm an autism spectrum disorder diagnosis and determine if the documentation warrants a diagnosis or further testing should be uh, conducted or if a diagnosis is not supported by the records. Any questions? Thanks, Brian. Yes, thank you. Optometry board. I'm Wallace Mills. I'm outside counsel with the Board of Optometry. This is a contract the executive director <clears throat> was RFP this year. Um, and Dr. Wallace was the only 
submission. Any questions? I know we had some problems with the paperwork here at the beginning, but we're able to get that worked out. Thanks for. We certainly have not come up to the red tape that most government agencies have. That's understood and duly noted, sir. Thanks, sir. All right, thank you. Brent Williams, Registered Interior Designs. Mr. Chairman, just so I'm clear, if we don't have anybody here, we're we're holding those contracts. Isn't it? it has to be resubmitted. Resubmitted. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Thank you. All right, transportation. Good afternoon. I'm Matt Leverett with ALDOT, and I have four contracts before the committee today. The first is for a public relations firm. It's a new contract. All right, any questions on this? I know you're not subject to CPO, but we're trying to work on a conglomerate, if you will, of how do we work well on marketing and other things within the state. Uh, and we've got great companies in the state that do this work for us, and we're very grateful for them. All right, any questions? Thank you very much. All right, our second contract is for a uh, malacologist contract is Selby Environmental. It's a supplement and they help us with our environmental program. All right. This was RFP'd in 2017. Right. And then awarded in 18. Uh, right. They, uh, and we are supplementing this. They're our only source for uh, aquatic resources. They do surveys of threatened and endangered species in the water like mussels. Mm -hmm. uh, in the future, our plan is to combine some of our environmental services into one RFP and that, that will be in coming. Okay. Like uh, do this what? year, next year? Probably through within the 26. next two, I'd say, I'd say two years from now when okay. these, our, our current contracts expire. Okay. Any questions? And then the last two contracts are for appraisers that uh, assist us on our right-of-way acquisition. Any questions on either of the appraisers? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Veterans Affairs. Good afternoon. Beverly Gephardt with the Alabama Department of Veterans Affairs. We have before you one contract. This is... Uh, a one-year extension um, on our existing contract with Copper Wing in order to raise awareness about veteran suicide um, as well as service member and their families. This falls right in line with conversations with CPO on how our departments might be able to be more effective in the procurement of these required things that we have. And yes, sir. So there are a lot of conversations going on. Any questions in particular on this contract from the committee? Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right, that takes care of all of our contracts. Now on to legal services. I'm Clay Crenshaw with the Attorney General's Office. First contract uh, is for an expert witness uh, in a lawsuit over the uh, Vulnerable Child Compassion and Protection Any Act. Any questions on this? Thank you, sir. And our next contract is for outside counsel uh, over our litigation involving this Mabel Amos Memorial Fund uh, Trust, uh, and it's um, an increase uh, in the amount that was caused because we have to file a writ of mandamus in the Alabama Supreme Court. Yes, sir, any questions? Thank you. Next one is contingency fees, top of page 20. Yeah, this is time extension. Yes, sir. Uh, this is Josh Hayes. Uh, he's handling, he's one of the law firms handling our uh, opioid uh, lawsuit. Uh, just to give the committee a little bit of an update, we just have uh, outstanding 
lawsuit against two drug distributors where we've reached a preliminary settlement agreement. Uh, Heard about that. Congratulations. Yes, sir. Hope Good to be work. able to announce that very soon. That sounds like great progress. It's, yes, sir. Bottom page 20. Any questions there? And uh, this is... See yep. none that's good. Uh, uh, page 21. These next two contracts are with uh, Dr. DeLisi, who is a criminal criminologist, rather. Uh, two different lawsuits. Uh, the first one at the top of page 21 is uh, Henry versus Marshall, pending here in the Middle District over one provision in the sex offender registration law. Um, Any questions? Thank you, bottom 21. And then again, Dr. DeLisi, this is a, a different case involving a more uh, broad uh, lawsuit against the sex offender registration law. Right. Any questions? Thank you, sir. And on the top of... Uh, Contingency fee? Thank yes, sir. It's okay. with the Beasley Allen firm. Again, opioid uh, litigation. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Thank you. Chiropractic Examiner's Board. Yes, uh, Brian was again on behalf of the Board of Chiropractic. Uh, this is an addendum uh, for our legal contract. Uh, he had an original contract of 40000 over two years. Uh, we used approximately 32. Uh, we have eight remaining, so we're uh, requesting 10 uh, to finish out the year. No cost time extension. Any questions there? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Finance? Good afternoon. I'm Daryl Masters with the Department of Finance Division of Risk Management. We have one legal contract with Terry Allett Tompkins to continue the representation of two district attorneys investigators in a matter of the ongoing litigation. Any questions? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Good afternoon, Mr. Chair, Committee. Jimmy Intrican with Legislative Services Agency. We have two legal contracts in front of you today. These are renewals of our committee lawyers for the Judiciary Committees in each chamber. Okay, either, any questions on either one of these on 24? Yes, Thank you, sir. Thank you, members. Revenue. Uh, good afternoon. I'm Mary Martin Mitchell with the Alabama Department of Revenue. We have a single legal services contract. It's just an extension of time to take it all the way to 2026. Um, and it's um, due to the master tobacco settlement agreement to help with that arbitration that goes. Any questions? Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Well, that does it. We're back. When are we back? First Thursday in March, 8.30 a.m., March 7th. Thank you very much. And committee, if I could get everybody to just come in and step back here for a quick conversation, I'd be grateful. Thank you very much. This meeting is adjourned.